Hi, this is Joanna with the Department of Online Learning, and this is a short tutorial on adding or creating rubrics for Turnitin assignments. There's two ways to have a Turnitin assignment. One is through the Assignments folder option within G2L, and the other is through the Turnitin tool within the content area. I'm going to show you both ways to access the rubrics. Once you're within the tool, the navigation and the creation of the rubric itself is exactly the same. So if you have an assignment folder, you're going to navigate to the assignment. You are going to edit the folder, click on Manage Turnitin. And you're going to scroll down and select More Options. When the window pops up, you're going to select the box that says attach a rubric. You can always do this during the creation of the assignment itself. You may get an error that says, are you sure you want to attach a rubric because you've already created the assignment? Do not worry about it. You can select a rubric from a drop down menu if you've already created one, like sample rubric. You is one that I have created previously, so I could select it and attach it to this assignment. Your rubrics follow you with your Turnitin account, so you do not have to keep creating the same rubrics over and over. If I want to create a rubric, I can click Launch Rubric Manager. A window is going to pop up with just a generic rubric in it that will allow you to edit the rubric itself. Before I go over how to edit a rubric and create your own, I'm going to show you how to get at this same tool within the Turnitin tool in the content area. So first you go to the content area, you navigate to the module that you want to edit the assignment in, click on the assignment. Go to the gear in the right corner, for settings. Scroll down, click optional settings, and select the box that says attach the rubric. And you can go ahead and click launch rubric manager. And the exact same window is going to pop up. If I click this menu bar, I'm going to expand this a little bit. If I click this menu bar at the top, I can select create new rubric. So for my rows, I have my criterion and I have my scales going across. I can have three different kinds of rubrics. A standard rubric where I can enter um, values for the column and then I can weight the criterion by percentage. So I could have 10, 20 percent, etc. for the different criterion. The most common kind of rubric that faculty tend to use is the, the middle one here with the pencil, which is a custom rubric where you can enter any value you like within any particular field, um, any rubric cell. The last one, which just has a zero, is going to be a qualitative rubric. So you can give students feedback, but not give them points for it. So you can tell them how they're performing without assigning a particular score. So let me go ahead and show you how you can add things. If you go ahead and click this plus button over here, it will add some columns for you, a different kind of scale. If you click in the field, you can edit this, the heading for that particular column. So you could say perhaps exceeds, meets expectations, begins to meet, does not meet. You are limited in the number of characters that you have to put in your columns, so you can play with that how you would like it to be. You can title your columns and give them descriptors for your criterion. You can put in your point values and also give descriptions as well. When you're done with your rubric, 
you want to make sure you have a title so you just enter it in there to, to save then go ahead and click save again and that will save your rubric and you'll be able to import it into your assignments i'm going to go ahead and click cancel here because i already have a sample rubric saved to upload After I have made my rubric, I will still have to attach it. It will now appear on my Dropbox, but I can go ahead and select it and then scroll down and click Submit to make sure that I'm saving those settings. A green bar will appear that says the settings were saved successfully.